We're here at x Park Sangwe Serene to try out Drone Chart's new Auto Charge feature. To do that, we have the Cherry Omoda E5 here, which we recently reviewed, and it's a pretty good EV, and you should definitely watch it when you can. Anyway, let's try out the new Drone Charge feature and see how we can simplify EV charging. So before you can use the new auto charge feature by Joma Charge, you do have to link your phone first, which is what we'll be doing right now. This is not my phone, it's a phone by Joma Charge, and I'm not going to link the car to my own account. Anyway, from here, the home screen, you just go on to account, press auto charge here to activate it, and you go through the steps by choosing the Omoda E5, which is what we have right now. And a side note, the current auto charge feature only supports Cherry and GAC ION cars, which is why we have the Omoda E5 here with us right now. So back to the setup, just click on the Omoda E5 and I'll just have to fill in the relevant information and it's a bit you know, sensitive information, so we're gonna skip this after the setup once you filled in the information this is the screen you'll see so let's continue the setup so one of the things that you have to do is to make sure that you are at an ev charging station that supports the new auto charge feature so let's activate now and we have to scan a qr code which is this one right here so let's scan it once you scan the qr code let's click on the charger and press onboard vid Take the charging. So we plugged in the cable and checking the phone, it says to unplug it and then plug it back in. So let's do just that. Okay, so we've unplugged it and now we're gonna plug it back in to complete the process. So this is the next step. It says I'm activating it. Agree to the terms and conditions, yes. So let's confirm. And the app crashed. Um, what? <laughs> I'm not quite sure why the app closed itself like that, but I do have a notification saying that the auto charge is confirmed. So let's try it out. It should work now. So let's imagine a scenario here. I've parked my car at an EV charging station here at Xbox Service Serene. I've opened the connection and in theory, I just have to plug this in and the car will automatically start charging. So let's see. Right, that's done. It will automatically auto rise, and wow, that's it. As you can see here, charging has started. I didn't need to scan any QR code, just plug it in, and the car is now charging. That's fantastic. So, when you're done charging, all you have to do is get onto the screen and press stop right here. Charging has stopped plug it out and you can go on your merry way that's that's nice that's nice and convenient so that's the setup process and how the new auto charge feature works in real life and honestly it is very convenient i just have to plug it in and the app will automatically deduct from my parrot payment method through the Jom charge app the setup process is a little bit iffy for my own personal experience but to be fair it is only a one-time thing and you don't have to do it every time so that's good do note that at this moment only dc charges from Jom charge support the new auto charge feature ac charges do not have it just yet on top of that only abb and cam power charges support auto charge the one i was using just now is abb and the one we have right here is the cam power charger so keep that in mind of course you don't have to personally go to the station and see if it's manufactured by abb or cam power if you really want to do that you can just go to the station and look for the auto charge sticker here or more practically just look through the app because it will show chargers that support auto charge so keep that in mind one small note before we end the video at this very moment while you can activate and deactivate the auto charge feature through the Jom charge app you cannot unpair it from your account to do that you do have to get in touch with Jom charge and they have to do it manually right now anyway of course it's a little bit annoying especially if you want to sell your car though why are you selling your car so early on but that's the process right now and hopefully this will be improved in the future and that is the new auto charge feature by Jom charge it really does make ev charging a lot more convenient and while the registration process is a little bit iffy for my own personal experience 
it's just a one-time thing so i guess it's not a big deal anyway if you like this video leave a like subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and always stay tuned for more good stuff to come here on this channel and nextreef.com.